Raymond. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff, and it's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Falcons offense set to go. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Throwing on first down. Rich firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of eight there on the play, and they'll be left with second and a couple. One quarter remains here in week 16. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. To throw on second down. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's Wilson. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. They'll run the option left. Oh, a strap. The ball comes out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Raymond looking middle, and that's complete. And he goes down at the 26, a pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13, first down. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. On first down, Chambers. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Chambers, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. 65 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. to throw. Raymond. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. From 13 yards out. And the Panthers have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. 
They're going to try and run for it. And he will get into the end zone for two. And this game now tied here in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away from the six. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So out come the Falcons now. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. On the give, this is their fullback. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Sometimes you read a defense they can pass rush, and you see them on those sprinter stances. Think you can get that quick hitter to the fullback and have it go for seven, eight, nine yards, but not that time. They stuffed him before he could get back to the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down tonight, they're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and seven. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They'll try and run with their fullback. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. So they'll try to move the ball closer here on third down. A field goal from this spot would be just inside of 60 yards, 59 to be exact. Looking to throw. Rich. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. What he was hoping for there is this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. On first down, Raymond. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Off play action, Raymond. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them.
So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. Raymond. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And take it right at the 35. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Looking to throw. Rich steps away to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. the play fake rich and that is incomplete i think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far forced some throws into tight coverage he's already been picked off in this game fourth down now but he's fourth down that one and this is going to be intercepted and the panthers are going to take possession of the football we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that's one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. They'll run on first down. It's Chambers. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Off play action. Raymond. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. From the gun on third down. Raymond being chased out left. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And that play is able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw. Raymond, now they go screen, it's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. On second down now, it's Chambers. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Up the middle they go. Chambers. And he stopped immediately there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. 
They'll keep it on the ground. It's Chambers. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Looking to throw. Raymond. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. So what a comeback here. They looked like they might be down and out not too long ago, but they have rallied back to take a fourth quarter lead. And I think we've got to give them nothing but credit for figuring things out on the fly because mentally they were on the ropes ready to go and they hung in there. They made some changes and adjustments and that led to some big plays and it turned this game on its ear. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And Carolina scores to cap it off. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that'll make it second down. Back to throw. Rich looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Stanley. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. I think we need to come up with a different name for this position. We keep calling it the fullback position. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback, but we know this. Whoever's coming out of that spot is usually bigger and stronger, and they may not run away from people, but they'll run through them. Yeah, they're able to shed tacklers. We saw it right there. That'll put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's Stanley. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. Rich. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 16 yards to the 16 and a first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And now here's a carry heading left. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Clock running, and the Falcons move him with a sense of urgency. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Stanley. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are on the field? A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Now left side on the swing pass. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Here's the Panthers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth. Take some I gambles. Say, I say, let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. He finds his man complete. That's Stanley. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. A good gain on first has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Back to throw. Rich. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds. 19 left. From the gun on third down, Rich. He finds his man complete. That's Stanley. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So possession and overtime first goes to the Atlanta Falcons, and we are back underway. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Falcons ready to take over. 
Charles, you think back to halftime, they had the big lead. They were in control of this game. They lost that lead, but ultimately right now, with the ball in overtime, a chance to win this thing. And you know each guy's telling his teammate, just let it go. Don't worry about it. We're starting fresh right here. What happened before does not matter. What happens right now. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. Well, you never know what you're going to expect when you come to the stadium to call a game. Sometimes you get good ones. Sometimes you get bad ones. Sometimes you get great ones. And that's what we had here. What an exciting finish on that last big play. And I think that as we look at it, when you're talking about a great finish, which went along with a game that obviously was dramatic because we did get into overtime, what type of play calls do you have left? What have you not shown? Or what have you made an adjustment to what you've worked on all the way through that's going to give you the play we saw to win the game? Because I know everyone's thinking that that was something that they just drew up. It might have been something they've been working on, and now they got the right matchup. So for Atlanta, they are now two wins away from a perfect regular season as they run their mark to 15-0 on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Big D to take on the Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it's a tough blow to their playoff aspirations as they drop to 9-6. And, and they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.